once again, ladies and gentlemen, live from Birmingham, it's time for the Fight Star Championship Bantamweight Interim Title Bout. It's the main event, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by Prominence Estates, scheduled for five three-minute rounds in the amateur Bantamweight division. Introducing once again in the blue corner, Hapdi! And his part of this evening in the red corner from Wales, Brennan Gay. Your referee in charge, Mr. Daniel Moverheady. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, main event time. This for the an interim amateur bantamweight championship. Ibrahim Abdul Basif fighting out of the blue corner. He's in the yellow. Eric shorts trim with black. Three and one record represents Eric's, uh, sorry, Legends MMA as he takes on Falcon Martial Arts. Brennan Gate, six and zero oh as an amateur. He's in the black shorts with gold trim. Yeah, Gate moving back down to bantamweight for this. He competed up at featherweight for a little time. Yeah. But this is his uh, his more natural weight class, and you'll see a very karate heavy stance out of uh, Brennan Gate, which could explain why Bassett immediately looked to close the distance and pressure Gate up against the cage. Oh! Ooh. Nasty low blow there. Yeah, the, the kind where they spit the mouthpiece out, never the nice no, kind. No, the, the, screaming and the, the screaming and the spitting of the mouthpiece I'm going to tell you now, uh, five minutes on the clock, and I'm not sure if that'll be enough. He is really struggling. Griffith's telling him he's got time. I'm not sure he wants time. He's done. Yeah, he's really, really struggling He's there. done. You hate to see that. You hate to see it. There's no intent in it, but man. It was a real heavy day. That was so heavy. Let's have, let's have another look here on the replay. Here we go. I mean, it's, I think it's about as plumb as it gets. Oh, we're going to. Oh, Mr. Marvin Yeah. Yeah. But there's no, that reaction. Holy moly. Yeah, I mean, he's got five minutes, but um, yeah, just take all that time. Just you just got to try and got to. I'm get. interested in the officials confab over there. Go on, John, go, go nose you around. See what's going on. <laughs> That's what uh, if, if it doesn't continue, I think it absolutely has to be a no contest. Not enough time in the round is expired. It's the first round. 30 seconds in, but it would be a shame. Yeah. An absolute shame for what has been an absolutely cracking card here on our Birmingham debut for Fight Star Championship for to, to end on a, an unintentional groin shot. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how long of the five minutes he's had now. Probably two, two, three minutes. Well, we've still we'll got a couple of minutes. We'll still see, but I don't. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's I, making me squirm, and it happened it two was, and a half minutes ago. Yeah, it was it, it was nasty. I mean, it'd be interesting if it does carry on. If we if uh, if we can carry on, will there be a point deduction? Because I no, mean, that's a that, no, because what accidental no, or yeah, there was no. He wasn't targeting that. It doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like Mr. Marvin had he's had a word or yeah, still just waiting it out here. I, I, I'm going to guess it'll be up to the referee to determine whether or not he, you know, he he picked the shot or whether it was. One of those unintentional things. I mean, it looked completely unintentional. You see those, unfortunately, in amateur MMA so often that they're just going for the knees to the to the midsection yeah. and just a little bit low. And oh, we see groin shots in professional MMA. Well, all the often time, enough yeah. as well. It's not a. I think I'm just looking at Brennan Gate as well. I think he said to his his corner there. I don't think he's going to. It doesn't look like he's going to continue. And this will be a super. Like, Disappointing way yeah, to end one of fantastic, to hold a fantastic card here in Birmingham as well, but there's still some time. We'll just wait and see whether. Uh, absolutely. Whether obviously um, we'll, we'll Ibrahim Abdul Basith yeah. can can recover from this. I mean, he's not even uh, back to his feet yet. He's going to get back to his feet now. It's. I don't know. Let's wait and have a look. Oh, yeah, trying to get them to do the good old stomp your nuts back into place. <laughs> get them, they'll, they'll get them back down from they'll, your chest. They'll read this end. <laughs> oh. I mean, that was a very, very oh, heavy. Yeah. That's a, like, flush on the 
on the groin. It's I mean, if it's a hideous experience. I have to tell you. Oh, I know. You know, for all the ladies out there <laughs> listening, you know, you talk about childbirth. <laughs> Please. <laughs> let's Steve, let's going to start another, let's another talk world to, war here. Let's talk to Abraham Abdul Basith <laughs> about what that felt like, shall we? Yeah, he's going to try and get, he's about, get back to his feet and see how well, he's, he's tougher than I am because I'd be dead. Absolutely. We're just, there you go, giving himself the yeah, arm. Yeah, that's right. Get him back down there, son. I mean, I didn't think we'd, uh, I didn't I think we'd honestly, see this continue. Just trying to uh, see if I can do any kind of lip reading or anything. And now they're keeping they're their saying, cards yeah. close to the chest. I mean, it still doesn't look like he's 100%. Right, I mean, imagine another one landing now as well, though. Imagine they get back into no. the position. And <laughs> no, you're land. just horrible, you are, Mr. Prentice. <laughs> <laughs> only you, on, only somebody really ill would be, well, they'll... They'll start again and it'll happen again. <laughs> Get the right one this time. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that, that Ibrahim Abdul Basith is uh, he's okay and he certainly looks to be in better shape than he was a few minutes ago. Absolutely, but I'm sure we've gone over five minutes here. I mean, I don't know when it's, it's again. Yeah, it looks like we're going to continue. Oh, fair play! Oh, and course. we are going to have a point taken. Well, obviously the, I mean the rules state if it's a it's if, if it's a, a fight altering foul. But I thought it, it still had to be an intentional foul. Well, it's only a foul <laughs> if it's intentional, right? Well, you think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, beautiful little scramble. We're there. gonna now see. <laughs> we're gonna see what uh, Bassett is made of here, but in straight into a top position. Yeah, Gates been do, working on his uh, on his grappling, his jiu-jitsu, recently competing well, in looking, a, uh, look, look. a jiu-jitsu competition. S starting to threaten, bringing that guard up high. He's got a triangle choke um, victory on his record as well, back in August of uh, 2022, fourth round. That was another title fight as well, here on the regional scene in the UK. And yeah, he's yeah, starting a little careful. collection of those, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. Six and oh, and a very... Very, looks a very good fighter so far. Obviously, we mentioned earlier on that he holds a win over uh, over Mane, who we saw with a dominant victory. He's four and one himself now, yep. I believe. I mean, that holds up as a very good victory. Yeah, well, I think Mane was Mane's one career. and zero when they met. Gate was four and zero at the time. But Ibrahim Abdul Basif going from the wrong end of a horrendous low blow. Yeah, to muscles through it now. Top position. And I mean, if he sees out this round as well in top position, lands some ground and pan, this and could be a 10-8. 10 10 eight because you had the one-point deduction. Yeah. Oh, look at the old school. Uh, yeah, to the thigh, the not to the kidney. Oh, yeah. looking to try and wrap up the triangle. Hard from He's this position going up. up against the yeah. fence. The arm, maybe. Potential arm by, yeah, but it looks like the, uh, the elbow's not in play for that. Trying to... But I do, li I do like how active we've seen Brennan Gate off his back here. We saw in that Mane fight, that's where he struggled really yeah. when he was uh, when he was taken down. Oh, chasing the... No. Yeah. Jumps the guillotine now. Don't think he had the uh, the hands up. He wasn't really in the, the right position to uh, to jump the guillotine choke there and find himself on his back again with... Uh, 55 with seconds on top. left and there's... If Basif takes this round, he's essentially two rounds up after one. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Very tricky uh, position for, for Gate to be in there. Early doors. Okay. I'm just surprised we've seen. I <laughs> we've seen too, this like I said, the, the, the reaction at first was. Yes. Yeah, oh, oh nice some hammer fists now. now. Got to watch out. He's looking again. I mean, he, he's got that right leg trapped by the right leg of uh, Vasi, so there's nothing really on there just to. It's more just a Man, make hold it on. Awkward yeah. and difficult for your opponent. And Bassett's going to see out the end of that round and a 10 8 round to start things out. Yeah, and if I'm in the corner of uh, Bassett here, the, uh, the Legends MMA guys, I'm saying there's a definite path to victory here. Take yeah. it down and he, he couldn't get back up. Nope. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be hella exciting. You got to stay busy.
just looking at the left eye of Vergate there as well. Looks like that's got a little bit of damage to it just underneath. A bit of redness from some of those hammer fists from uh, Ibrahim Basif. And how that round changed after the after the low blow. Absolutely crazy. I mean, that, that low blow came, what, only about 20 yeah, seconds into the Yeah, early in round the fight. And, and yeah, we, we thought that was going to be the end of it because, because of how, how grim it was, but... Wow, he's got... We're here, we're into round two. Made of tougher stuff than I am. You and me both. It's round two of potential five three-minute rounds here in this interim bantamweight championship match. And there's that smooth striking of... Brilliant guy. Well, he's not. He's still not afraid to throw that knee to the body. I'll be terrified if no, I, I, th I think now. it's. I think it's. I think it's great that it hasn't dissuaded him. But now, <laughs> pressuring heavy. Got to watch that low, low knee again. Ooh, Ooh wrapping it at the he, neck here. Did, but he, he He almost dropped himself into that that's position. A that's that a real tight. tight choke there. Nope, slips his head out, but had to be careful. There's almost, almost put his own head under the arm. Yeah, but now he gets top position, and this is where he did so well in the last round. He's obviously got uh, got faith in his choke defense. Hey, man, now got to be careful of the arm. Oh, beautiful passes into half guard. Again, just lock down here. Gage trying to stay active on his back, but. At the moment, it doesn't look like he's uh, he's got any answers for these uh, no. these grappling questions. And Lasith looking to slice open that half guard, maybe transition to the mount. Ooh. Yeah, it looked like there's an opportunity there to slide the knee through. Well, I'm I mean. wondering if he's thinking about threatening, pushing that right arm up, and maybe threatening for the head and arm. Step over. Yeah, potentially, yeah, it's um, he's just kind of... He's wrapped around that neck tight. He just got to get underneath that arm, but he looks like he's... Yeah, slowly forcing that, that arm up, that uh, right arm of, uh, of Brennan Gate, but... Good work again from Gate, though, to pull back in the half guard. Now going up high. Good work. Oh, jeez. I think he's talking to his opponent there. Yeah. Well. He's there, oh! oh, inverted triangle attempt here. Okay, it's so active off his back. He's absolutely, but look at oh, that lovely, lovely work. work by Bass if there. Step over, back into the half guard though. Yeah, guy recovered nicely there. Oh, oh and he's gonna and get it, into the man himself. Oh my what a goodness sweep. gracious Fantastic me. Fantastic sweep there from Brennan Gate. Finds himself on top, 30 seconds to go. He looks like he's gonna try and get that choke again, but. Yeah, not for, again. W needs to get him inside the yeah. No, the you guard to get that. that from the half guard and <laughs> he's my he's looking for the. Uh, he's gonna, thought he was going to straighten out, look for the straight you. arm or the key lock or. A... Ooh, ooh. Wow, what a fight we've got here! And that <laughs> point deduction matches. now. I mean. Is it? <laughs> that could be huge. Come in. It could be three. Three, three, three with three, three to go. Up, yeah. I All think, to I do for Brennan Gate now. Absolutely. And I've been really impressed with Brennan Gate on his back. He's really, he looks for sweeps. He looks for submissions. But it reminds me an awful lot of, um, of Jake Hadley's UFC debut, where he was very active on the bottom, but he wasn't getting back to his yeah. feet, and he lost the decision. Yeah. And it's all well and good if you're running out try, looking for those submissions, looking for those sweeps, but if you're constantly on the bottom and you're not getting back to your feet, yeah. eventually you've got to, got to have a get-up game. Got to do something, yes. I mean, the, the submission attempts would need to come more fast and furious or really be locked in for... Yeah, for you to win from that bottom position. Yeah. So so eventually, if you, if you can't get those sweeps, you can't get those submissions, you have to get back to your feet and, and bring you back to the strike exchange just because... Because you are going to lose the round unless you, like you say, unless you're very, very close to finishing a submission. Well, we're in the middle 
Middle stanza now. Yeah, Three. his right hand's there for guy. Oh, uppercuts big run. uppercuts. But straight in, under the hips, trying to... Oh. And he wraps up the neck again, again. Guy. That That's almost his kind of go-to when... Um, Ooh. Yeah, that looked like a Ooh. close to the, uh, the groin Ooh. as well. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's very tight now. A lot of talk in that, but... Let's go of the position. Obviously, didn't sense that he had the, uh, the choke locked up there. But yeah, that's almost Gates go to when he yeah. uh, when he's in those, those wrestling exchanges oh, to go he's to the uh, try and crucifix him. To go to the choke. And he's gonna try and crucifix <laughs> him. Oh my goodness! Horrible position to be in, but obviously you can't elbow. Oh, it's very difficult. There's the choke. It's not not quite on at the moment. No, I mean, he's got to work got his got way a bit right of to thumbs the back. Up, but use it to yeah to get on top to position. Mount. He's going to sneak sneak out there, but you're going to finish out on oh, top. He's going to come, come out the back door. Oh, he's gonna end my up on top. He's goodness. He's him, Abdul Basim. This is such Kimura a fan fantastic fight. So many fun scrambles and back and forths. Yeah, he's looking to try and threaten that Kimura. Can he yank the arm away out from the body are we going to use it for another transition well, somebody's going to north south position now looking again that the arm's not in though for that inverted triangle this is just that just uncomfortable yeah, right yeah that's just yeah you're just squeezing his head there and you, you know it's going to be very unlikely to uh, to get a submission from that position without the arm in he keeps keeps looking to lock it down yeah he does he obviously thinks he's got Got a tough, uh, tough squeeze, a strong squeeze with those legs, but Basith should be able to just kind of see out this position. Eventually, squeeze his head out when the uh, the legs start to turn. Right, I mean, they just did there. Yeah, yeah. There's a gap there now that I'm sure Basith could squeeze out of soon. Got to watch the toes in the cage there, Mister Motherhead. He's uh, he's warning yeah, he's gate. Doesn't want another point another no. But you also, again, you're on the bottom. Ooh. Nice little shot there. And also got the leg over the shoulders. He's going to try and sneak out onto the back. No, threatening the corner again. again. I mean, I really love watching Brennan Gay. He's so active off his, uh, Absolutely. Off his back. I mean, as I said, he, he, he doesn't look to get to his feet. He just looks for submissions constantly. I mean, it's super fun to watch. But, Ooh. oh, potential arm here. Ooh. Potential arm bar here. Eight seconds left in the round. I don't think he's got enough time no. to... Uh, to lock this on and Basith is just going to kind of, yeah, I'm happy to see that. This round. Oh, right at the end of the round there. Ten more seconds and we could have, we could have seen something big happen there for Brennan Gate. I think Basith got a little bit, um, a little bit complacent there. Maybe, the but seconds. oh my goodness. Because that looked on. Let's see. Here's the crucifix position that yeah, and then he's looking back worked choke. on. Uses it to but a lovely little scramble here. Now that'd be interesting who's ran that goes to Oh I I would be a, I'm beyond couldn't <laughs> even tell you. We're just gonna sit back and enjoy Somebody it. Somebody else's problem. Not even try and work out, but yeah, but game we was do very know. active. So hang on. That was round three. That was round three. If we think that Basic took the first two, but 10-8, 10-9. Uh, I, I don't know. So it could potentially be well, the equivalent of four rounds down. It, it could, could be, or it be could three be one. three one, and if he wins the next two, it'll, it'll be, be three a, three. Yeah, we get a draw. draw. <laughs> we get to do it all over again. Ooh. Oh, this is fantastic. Here we go. I've said this so many times this evening here in Birmingham, but what a fight. This has been a great fight. Oh, oh right hand now. landing there. Shake of the head from Basith. He's got to be careful. Oh, those, those that kicks. landed too. He does a really good job of blocking those high kicks. Yeah. Gate. He uh, brings the, the guard up high. Scramble again. Oh, Gate's going to end up on top. Well on top Into here. the mount. Right hands. Just needs to take his time here. A oh, dominant. Nice, nice work there from uh, regaining the half guard. Sorry to interrupt you there. Steve. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Now Gate got time to work on top. Two and a half minutes. One hook in. Two hooks in. Yeah, this is a really strong position. And that's it looks like under he's the chin as well. There, that's a nasty position. It just looks like it's across, across the jaw at the moment. 
He's got that palm to palm, I think, oh, at the moment. Oh, changes to the ball, and good work. That's exactly what he needed to do. Turn the... Yeah, you can see they're just pressing down with the left yep. foot onto the, uh, onto the leg gate to try and get out of this, uh, this position. But, oh, it's a lot of time to yeah. be trapped. Tra I mean, some real like talk as well in the the body, and it is under the chin. If he can, uh, oh, there he can lock the... this up. But just oh, whether he's got the oh, there's the squeeze. Got to peel that top hand and does. Yeah, you've got a real arch as well. And looking for for Brennan Gay when he gets that submission there to really arch the the back of uh, of Bassith. Bass needs to move to roll to the other hip. Try to get that body triangle open up a little bit. This has been a phenomenal back and forth, and it's well. We've, we've got to wonder got if uh, if Basith is starting to tire. Is this a ten eight? <laughs> it could well be. I mean, we could have cancelled the ten eight out. Oh, chasing it again. Yeah. Change the grip. Yeah, Basith's got really good uh, good choke defense here. Absolutely. But he, oh, look at but he's playing with yeah. fire. He's playing with fire a little bit, constantly allowing Gate to get that. Forearm under the chin, but yeah, he's got to change that grip. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's struggling a little bit more. There's, There's the attack. Top. Brennan Gate she gives up the 10 8 round. Gives 7 up and 0. Woo! Interim bantamweight champion. Brennan Gate Brennan doesn't Gates. know when he's done. Wow, what a great fight! Fantastic work. Gives up that 10-8 <laughs> round to start with. Gave yourself an uphill fight, but holy crap, mate, you finished with style. <laughs> Hell of a performance. Absolutely Hell of a performance. Phenomenal. And, and to keep your composure as well, going that two, go, essentially going two points down, 20 seconds in, that could be enough to to, to throw the best of them, but not Brennan Gate. Wow. I'm, su I'm super impressed with, with Brennan Gate. And, and maybe I was a little bit harsh him in the earlier rounds about not getting back to his feet when he was on bottom. I mean, he was very active. I mean, you've got to love the activity when, uh, when he's throwing up those submissions. But as soon as he got that top position, he worked non-stop Absolutely. for that rear naked choke. And we said that Vasith was maybe playing with fire, constantly yeah. allowing the forearm to go under the chin. And, and eventually he got that squeeze. Got it done within time and got it done. Uh, and certainly you would imagine a couple of rounds in the hole. What a fantastic performance for Brennan Gate. But I'm gonna, I want to give Ibrahim Bassif all of the credit in the world. That was what? a horrendous oh, yeah. low blow. Nobody yeah, to carry on as well. Nobody yeah. on earth would have gone, yeah, you're a wuss for not carrying on there. Yet he he comes back in, finishes that round aggressively, wins the second. But wow. oh Brennan Gate, our new interim champion. Let's turn it over well, to last time to Mr. Lee. This Thompson. contest was brought to a close by rear naked choke submission. Two minutes and 21 seconds into round number four. Let's hear it for your winner and new Fight Star Championship interim champion in the red corner, Brennan Gay. And your fantastic runner-up, Abdel Basi.